Hello again. Welcome to Grand Columbia. This is my friend Jojo. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Hi everyone. She speaks some English and we're on our way to Philandia to try out the new phone. Who's the Osmo 2? <laughs> <laughs> what you might call it stabilizer and hopefully in a couple days we'll have the video out bye bye Dulcinea Cafe. It's great reviews and it's heavily promoted uh, for tourists to go there. I think it's really because it's right off the bus. It's actually, it didn't have very good service. The juice really isn't natural. It's made from frozen pulp. Coffee was good. Uh, I did read in a review about how special the coffee was. They actually use Cafe Candillo coffee, which is excellent coffee, but it's pretty much what's used everywhere there. I'm not hearing it. <laughs> They don't do fresh, they do the pulp. So I can't say it was bad, it was quite good, but there really was nothing special about it. Philandia. The name means Daughter of the Andes. Its location is the northernmost in the Department of Candillo. It has an altitude of about 6,500 feet. And it's interesting because the, the little town which houses about 6,500 people it's right at the peak of a hill, so whatever edge of the town you go to, you can see down into valleys and other hills. Um, great and interesting location. It was occupied originally by the indigenous people going back a few thousand years called Kimbaya. 
and there's a town named after them. But at some point, when the Spanish came, the place kind of cleared out. For a couple hundred years, no one lived there. Until around 1870, when it became settled, and it became an official uh, town in 1878. It's known for growing coffee. It's known for having some of the better coffee around. It's also a tourist place. And for a long time, uh, particularly before the Spanish, uh, it was a gold industry. Cambayas were known for their working with gold. Well, we tried to have some lunch, and I wanted to go to the place that was the most popular in the reviews, again, heavily promoted by various uh, people and organizations, called Helena Adentro. The menu looked great. I looked online. They have a very nice, fancy website. It has a really good-looking menu. So, all right, let's give it a try. So we asked directions, and we walked down there. And there was a few people mingling around outside. I was surprised at how very small it was. Very tiny, just a handful of tables. And the twins, which weren't really twins, but they were sisters, fascinating. If you look at them, you'll see that they have the very same mouth expressions at almost the same time. Uh, they fascinated me. but. They also said there was going to be an hour wait. And we didn't really have time for an hour wait. We're only there for a few hours. Wanted to hit the cafe, wanted to hit the restaurant. Uh, I didn't have breakfast, so I certainly wanted to have the lunch. And then just take a walk down around the center of town. That's a lot of video we can do. Just kind of get a feel for it. I was really curious because every time someone would look at the Salento video that I made, or I've actually made it several, I would get these comments about, well, Salento is just all touristy, and if you really want to see a beautiful place untouched by tourists, you know, go to Finlandia. And I don't know what the heck they're talking about. There's way, there was a ton of tourists. Now Jojo said, well, maybe it's because it's Saturday, but I've been to Salento on Saturday. There was a lot of tourists there, and they make their money from tourism. I mean, come on, let's be serious. But it's an equally beautiful little town. There's some things about it that maybe are better, some things not quite so good. I don't think the comparison really makes any sense. You know, let's view each place for what it is on its own. What can you do? Things to do there? Basically rustic things. You can go hiking. There's a number of farm tours. You can go out to a coffee plantation. Take a look at that. You can go horseback riding. Uh, one of the famous sites is this double waterfalls. Waterfall next to each other. Now it's on private land, and from what I read, we didn't have time to go, and it was pretty overcast all day. But from what I read, you just go up and ask the owners if, if it's okay for you to go back there, and they always say yes, and you go back there. Um, so you have that. There's also a tower that's 60 feet up over the town, outside, just outside of town. And it's a, it's a famous tower. You can go up there and get 360 views. On a clear day, you can see Pareda. You can see Armenia. In other words, you can see for miles and miles and miles. Oh, look at that shirt. I did a video about that. Yeah. I just, I did a video. Oh my God, that's, so funny. that's the name of the video. <laughs> it's the, just the difference between English and Spanish. Really? 
Gracias. Uh-huh. Oh, you see the big hat? <laughs> the big tourist hat. You like that? This is so much about tourists. That's that's where I'm I'm coming here to look over the the view. Always. And it's, it is a particularly beautiful countryside there. It's very interesting. These rolling hills and valleys and... So while we didn't go up on the tower, we did find a restaurant that was, I would say was excellent. Uh, the service was great. The food was really good. It was very well done. You couldn't ask for a better view. It's right on the edge of town. Sits up on a little cliff. Uh, it was super. It, for Colombia, it was a little on the pricey side, but nothing out of the ordinary. If you're not living in Colombia, you'd go there and think it was probably cheap. I will say this, as we're waiting for our food, Columbia got hit with an earthquake, a 6.1 made all the news. It got kind of violent sitting there, and because we're sitting on the edge of a cliff, we looked at each other and at the same time we decided, on the third wave of that uh, trembler, we decided to get up and go outside and stand on the concrete, which is of course when the earthquake stopped rumbling. Uh, no one was hurt. There was no real damage. It was out in the middle of nowhere, which is what most of the earthquakes seem to be. So, But she was a little freaked out over it because she's from Armenia. And as you may know, in 99, there was an earthquake that devastated a good portion of Armenia, including the area where I live, which is why you see so many new high-rises. easy to get to. Uh, it took about an hour on the bus even though it's, um, oh boy. I think it's only about 12, 15 miles from Armenia. Yeah, but the bus route takes the scenic uh, version. It's not far from Salento. Salento's kind of to the east and Philandia to the west. Oh, you want a Willys? Oh, I love Willys, you know. For sale. Definitely a place to go. It's beautiful. I will do this comparison. Please don't hate me for it. But one thing that did stand out is while those buildings are painted in all these different colors, as they are in Salento, you could see that throughout the little town, there's fresh paint everywhere. They really keep up on it. Maybe a bit more pride or maybe just maybe a little hungrier for tourists to come and spend their dollars 
Where Salento, you get that, but you know, I think maybe they paint every four or five years. It, it just wasn't as fresh. But um, that doesn't take away or add. So, That's just a uh, observation. We both noticed it. Of Finlandia. Great place. Definitely yeah. recommend going. So, when was the what last? <laughs> when, when was the last time you were here? The last time I was here, um, I think it, it was about nine years ago. Yeah. Nine, ten years ago. Is it different? Yes, it is. It's a lot um, of people. Tourists. A lot of tourists here. And it wasn't no, crowded not before. Much. But I think there's more people than Salento. It's crazy. Now it is maybe because it's Saturday, I don't know. But there's a lot of people here today. So what do you think of it? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love the weather. I love everything about this place. But it's nine years. Why so long? Um, Life? Maybe because I live here in Armenia, so I forget about going around, you see? Here's your story, let's begin The world is fine, come on, dive in The future's here, it's right before you
Colombia is becoming more popular because it's not all bad about Colombia. No. It's not only drugs or no, no, not at all. It's just like you say, some people they, they only think that Colombia is a place to come and have fun with girls and that's it. Yeah, you need to watch a couple videos that I make about that. This is bigger than Salento. I mean, I don't know the town, but there's more Space? more restaurants, more bars. It's like right on top of a little mountain. Maybe because of the earthquake, and then the weather is going to change. We <laughs> used to think that, you know. If, well. If there is an earthquake, it's being very hot, and then the weather will change. Oh. You know I mean? Well, I... All the opposite. It's very I hear what you then, say. I don't know what you mean, but I hear your words. <laughs> It's a little crazy talk, but that's okay. <laughs> no, you're very clear. I just say that the I don't think it's very water. scientific. <laughs> that's like eucalyptus cures everything. No. <laughs> Or hot showers make you sick. They don't. Yeah, but there's people in, in Colombia that think that's true. It's not that they, they make you sick. 